Hello, everyone. This is Rob Golfie with Remax, the Golfie team. Welcome to the Golfie Real Estate Show with host Stephanie Vivier. You know, like, if you're on a fixed income, let's say you're retired, and I know a lot of retirees in different areas. Like, we're talking like in uh, in Stone in, in Grimsby, Stony Creek, and Hamilton, and Niagara. You know, like where they build condos. I know retirees moved in based on the condo fees, and they have to sell because of the condo fees went up so much. My son bought a, a, a condo in Grimsby, yep. and I said to him, I, like, don't buy new. I says, buy, a re, buy, buy it when it's about a year or two old because you get to know what the real condo fees are going to be because uh, th that's when they start uh, you know, doing it. And he even bought it after a year old, and they, they, were, they, were, they went up like crazy. Yeah. And he said, ne ne never again. I mean, like, you got to be prepared. If you're buying a condo, you, like, it's better to buy something that's about three to five years old because they pretty well got, understand what their fee cost is to run that condo building. But if you buy pre-construction, you better be prepared and you better know that you can afford to pay it because they will jack up the, uh, the condo fees there. And yeah, and like you know, uh, yeah, like, yeah. I know we got to go to break. We'll, yeah. we'll 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 continue after the break for sure. Yeah, lots more to talk about here, of course, with Rob Golfi on the Golfi Real Estate Show. A special guest with us today, Karen Roy, sales representative of the Golfi team as well. Both Karen and Rob are going to stick around, and we'll be back with more Golfi Show right here on News Talk six ten CKTV. All right, there we go just do this interesting story eh? i know i know yeah. oh. well and what a gut punch double oh, that yeah. Wow. yeah i felt bad like at least they called the lady called me we'll, we'll finish we'll, we'll, okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. hold yeah. on one second uh what's today I'm just saving them as I go because there's a bunch of stuff open. Sure. I'm paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do that. We don't want to do that whole segment again. <laughs> Welcome back to the Golfy Real Estate Show. I'm Steph Vivier, and with us today, the one and only Rob Golfy from the Golfy team and special guest Karen Roy, sales representative of the Golfy team. Uh, Karen, Rob, we were just talking about Karen, your personal experience, you know, despite being a realtor and hearing Rob talk about condo fees many times, it happened to you. You had some reasonable, what you thought were reasonable fees, and then uh, you're there for a period of time and, and they increased them on you. Yeah, yeah, it was a little bit of a shock. So, shock. so they, 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 did they send you a letter? Did they call you? What's going on there? Well, you know, I have to say they did call. So yeah, because they knew you're gonna. Right? Everybody's gonna freak out with a letter. <laughs> <laughs> I would get a letter like that. Are you kidding me? Like, yeah, yeah. no, they. She did call, and and uh, everybody's gonna, you know, discuss these things. But you know, good for her for calling, and because sometimes, you know, if it's bad news, nobody wants to be the the delivery person. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you know, obviously I knew it wasn't her, but, um, I'm glad I was sitting I, I, down I, yeah. when I, I, I think you guys should do a class action lawsuit against the developer. I, like everybody comes together, but a, a class, I say, listen, we bought the, we bought this condo based on a, a condo fees of being $250 a month. Now yeah. you guys are looking for five fifty a month. Like that changes the d dynamics of your lifestyle. And, and I think, and, but, but my understanding is you guys are, are is everybody in the condo uh, complex getting together to yeah. talk yeah, about it? Yeah, we're going to chat. Everybody's going to discuss this so that everybody has a clear understanding. Because un unless you know exactly or, you know, if there's any wiggle room or whatever, yeah. like that's the part that I think is the unknown, right? Yeah, I, I would actually get a lawyer. I would get a lawyer yeah. and uh, get a lawyer to send uh, the condo corp uh, a letter indicating that uh, if they pursue this, they... Uh, uh, that you can sue because not only that um it it will uh affect the value of the condo because people are going to look at it and say mm, i don't think i want to pay five six hundred dollars uh for condo fees in this building like yeah like it's a new building really what need what, why do they need so much money because everything's brand new it, 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 they won't need to do anything to the building for at least 15 years like furnaces yeah. furnaces 
like all all maintenance and stuff like that. So what 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 why so, what's their what's their theory? What's their reason? Well, I didn't know if it was partly because the the um, we have a pool and everything like that being built and that's still not ready. So I didn't know if it was coming from there. But when I I looked at uh, the the spreadsheet, it looks like it's coming from one specific area of being snowplow, uh, like maintenance, lawn maintenance and snow. So I just, that's, I didn't understand that. So I, I think, you know, that's just another great way to be able to talk this out and understand because how many units, how many, uni how many units are in the building? Well, it's, uh, it's, we're not, so it's we're a small, it's a small building. It's right? not even a building. So we're stacked condos. Oh, stacked condos. There's two, one yeah. above each other. Yeah. Right. So yeah. how many units so are there? So there would be probably 26. So 20, 26. And you guys are paying 250 approximately uh, per month. So they were getting 6,500 a month. You know, you times that by 12. I mean, that's like 78,000. Like for cutting lawns and, and snow plowing, there's more than enough there right now. Now, why? And it's the, not a surprise too, right? Cutting lawn and snow plowing. We know where we live. We knew that was going to happen. Like that math should have been done <laughs> right before. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, 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 I could see probably maybe twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 for uh, lawn maintenance and snow removal, you know, uh, per year. I, 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 you know, I don't know. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, I've got properties that... I have contracts for uh, snow removal, but it, I'm sure it's not as big, but it, as, as the complex mm -hmm. that you're in, but I don't think it's, it's, it's going to be that much. Like I, I, I understand lawn maintenance. I understand yeah. snow removal. And, um, so I don't know. I, I just, I think you send a letter to the, uh, condo corp and mm -hmm. say, Hey, you, you're going to pursue this. Uh, we're, we're going to, we're going to sue you. And, uh, and that's it. And, uh, and they'll, they'll readjust that price. I guarantee it. They'll drop it about 150 bucks or more, you know, yeah. they, 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 they just can't, they just can't do that. I mean, like what if a student or not a student, what a young family, like a, like a couple, they yeah. barely just got enough money to, for the down payment. They figured out their, their cost. They went to the bank and yeah. the bank says, the bank says, yeah, well, you qualify as long as the condo fees are this much and this much. Right. And, and now, now they, uh, they're, they're going to have to deal with this extra yeah. $250 a month expense that they have on top yeah. of the interest rates that yeah. thank God they're starting to come down. And that was always something I had um, looked at too, because you know, what you have in a mortgage is one thing. And then now you're adding another, you know, 500. If I yeah. bought, if I decided to buy a detached or whatever, right, I could buy something you know, a lot bigger, whatever. I just enjoyed living in a condo yeah. because I like to shut the door, lock it, and I don't have yeah. responsibilities for, you know, which is I fine. Plant flowers uh, yeah. And that's, and, and, and that's fine because you, look, you, yeah. when you were buying the condo, they said the fees were going to be $250 yeah, yeah. $50 a month. It, it is sad. I know a lot of people go through this and especially seniors, they go through it and I get calls and they, and, and, uh, and the, you know, special assessments and they get, yeah. they get whacked hard and they're, and they're in tears. Yeah. Like, especially seniors, they're in tears, especially if they're widows and there's, and they're, you know, trying to find a place where they don't have to worry about it. They just, mm -hmm. they, they, you know, everything's taken care of and they're on pensions and stuff like that. It makes a big difference. And I think you guys should get together, hire a lawyer and send a letter. And I'm going to tell you something that will save you money. Mm -hmm. uh, every, every single, uh, uh, owner that uh, that owns in that complex will probably save uh, over a thousand to twelve hundred bucks each for the next few years. Yeah. And uh, because these condo corps, I know they they do take a lot of money for mm -hmm. their for themselves. Yeah. I know I know that. Like so, they want to yeah. pay themselves more. Yeah. So, well, I've taken lots of phone calls this week. <laughs> <laughs> fight it, fight it. That's it. Well, that's fight. really the only recourse you have, right, Rob? Because once they, once you live in the place, um, if you don't pay the condo fees, then you can be in trouble. Well, you could be in trouble. They could, they could take it over from you, and uh, right. because the condo, the condo, like if you're not paying the condo fees, the, they can evict you out of there. They could say, "Sorry, we'll, we'll, we'll." foreclose on you sell it and get our condo fees and then uh now you're you're out of luck mm -hmm. but uh it, it is sad and it's not fair and uh, i think that uh um, i don't know if, if you could do this if you're buying a condo say hey listen you're saying these condo fees are this much um uh, maybe you have a, a schedule in the contract mm -hmm. that says hey I, I have no problem with, I understand there's uh, increases, but it shouldn't right. exceed more than 4% a year. Yeah. I think that's something that is another great piece of yeah. advice. Yeah. Like it's, you, you really got to look at that. Like, I mean, yeah. people, when they're buying condos, 
I mean, they, you know, they're look and the the seller there, the 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 builder, the developer. Yeah. Oh yeah. The condo fees are going to be only 150 bucks a month. Yeah. Do you know that's what they do to hook you in to buy? You got to be careful. And mm -hmm. you know what? And and it's sad that they do that. Like I mean, mm -hmm. like I said, get the lawyer. Get the lawyer to send a letter to the condo corp, and it'll shake them up a bit, and they'll mm -hmm. and they'll probably readjust that price. I guarantee it they will, and because now you guys are willing to fight. But if you, like I said, let me know how. Yeah. Let me let me know how <laughs> that goes because, like, even like condos, it, it's it's crazy. Now there was a lot of there was one condo uh, developer, he sold, and then. Uh, there were great prices before it went up in 2021 and 22. They mm -hmm. were selling in 2019 and tw 2020. Mm -hmm. And then they saw the market go crazy. They, they canceled everybody's uh, sale and then try to resell it. And see, like, yeah. see how they are the greedy, 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 just sell it. There's a, there's a developer in Burlington. Now he could have said we were canceling the contracts cause it, cause it's all in favor of the, of the developer and he could have resold it for way more money. But he didn't. He honored it. it a developer yep. in in uh, Burlington. He honored the 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 lower price, mm -hmm. and uh, and people appreciated that. Yeah. I mean, like, okay, he could have made maybe five, ten million dollars more. But he says, no, you know what? Uh, my mm -hmm. reputation's important. Right. I still made. He still made money on the on the project, yep. and maybe not 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 as, not as much as he anticipated. But because of cost of uh, mm -hmm. uh, construction went up, yep. but he still made money and he honored the uh, price that uh, that he did. And and w those people that did end up buying and closing on those deals, mm -hmm. they benefited because they moved in on a, on a property that was worth a lot more than what yeah. they what they uh, signed on when they first uh, uh, bought it. Yeah. Yeah. That's integrity there. That's the kind of person you want to do business with. And he may, you know, lose some money there, but he's not going to lose sleep at night. He can look at himself in the mirror and moving forward, you know, who knows what that means exponentially for his business, because that you can't buy that reputationally to say, I stand by my word. I sold it for this much. And even though I have this opportunity, I'm not going to take it. Absolutely. You get, yeah, just I, like, yeah, absolutely. Fight them. Fight them, Karen. That's it. <laughs> Karen, you need to come back and uh, update us here on I, the Golfy Real Estate I Show. I will please. for sure. Absolutely. Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's talk about it. Uh, if Karen decided to sell her home, what she's been there a little more after a year, uh, but you've got some cautions for us today for those who have been in their homes for less than a year and want to sell. Yes, be very careful. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Rob Golfie from the Golfie team. Give them a call, 905-641-0308, robgolfie.com. That's Rob, G-O-L-F-I.com, and start packing. This is News Talk 610 CKTV.